Welcome to the Infernal Brotherhood of the Scruffy Looking Nerfers. Today I'm reading Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi Force War 1. It has been a year since the Rakadan Infinite Empire first attacked the Tython system. Zesh, once a Force hound and slave to the Rakata, says that his former masters are also called the Builders by many in the galaxy. We have known nothing but destruction. They savaged the outpost at Fury's Gate. They took the giants, Aubrey and Mar, and their moons before we blunted their attack on Tython itself. They fell back to Skagora, making their base there. On every world this enemy has attacked, they have enslaved the population and left ruin. Finally, the Jedi saw the wisdom of creating Force Savers, the weapon of the Rakatan Force Hounds. Zesh taught them how to make use of those weapons, blades of light channeled by the dark side of the Force. And at long last, the Jedi admitted the truth of my vision and begged me to lead them. I descended from Bogan. Rajavari heads the combined forces of the settled worlds, and I, the Jedi, but I lead the Jedi. Then there are the seers, Jedi who perceive the force in dreams and visions, sharing their images and impressions for us to interpret in order to divine where the enemy will strike next. The force is with them as it is with me. I listen closely to them, as the Jedi should have listened to me long ago. The Force is with us. We are aware, from the log of Jedi Master, General Dagan Loke. Chicago. Zess has forgotten much of his life as a force hound of the Rakata, but he never forgot those creatures, mutated lower caste Rakata, bred in the thousands as soldiers, as weapons, hungering to kill, hungering to eat. Flesh Raiders Zesh knows them well. As a force hound, he once led them. He knows what they can do, and that is why they must die. Living among the Jedi, Zesh has begun to understand that there is more to the force than the dark. There is balance, and in that balance, a light side. But here, the light will not serve him. The dark knows. The dark is what he knows. As with all Force Hounds, the dark is what he was bred for. Channeling that darkness. Dealing death. But death, mounted on a Rancor dragon, follows this Force Hound. Jay Coda felt a connection with Zesh before his master's ship crash-landed on Tython. Even now, within the smoke and carnage of battle, she can feel that spark that is him below. A dark brilliance in the Force. The mounted Force Hound charges her. She feels its challenge through the Force. She will not yield. The young Jedi Ranger shifts within the balance, allowing the dark side dominance, challenging, uh, channeling that darkness into her Force Saber. Death follows. <laughs> Zesh feels Shay in the Force for a moment. She is a bright beacon that draws him toward the light. 
Traitor! A dangerous moment in the midst of battle. Zish! Fchunk! Run! Fchunk! Pchoo! Fchunk! Fchunk! Rakatan Annihilators! Look, you found the main Rakatan position. You need to call down an airstrike. But their position is now our position. Too much fog, too much smoke. Our vitals will never be able to tell enemy from friend. No, they won't. But without it, we stand no chance. Do you know what Rakata do to enemy captives? Enslave. Wrong. They eat you. Oh, they will cook you first. Alive. Strafe, your position, Dagon? You're ordering us to shoot you? Our position is being overrun. That happens. The battle's over anyway. Execute my order now, Ryo. Red Squadron, fix our General Loke's signal and prepare strafing run. On my lead. Blue Squadron, keep those Rakatan fighters off our tails. Ving, ving. Brum, chum. Segnos, run! Brum. Got you, Shrill. Trump! Trump! No, Master Ketu. The battle is far from certain. Although the Seers predicted the direction of the attack, they couldn't predict the numbers. Win or lose, we will have a high number of casualties. Give me a prize of situation there, Master Rajavari. Tython is massive, massing forces for defense should Shikakwa be captured. Ketu out. My generals report that the battle is not going well. Now this, Rajavari, if Ryu Fortress falls, so will Shikakwa. Lord Ryu, we repelled the Rakatan attack on Tython. And we will prevail here. You Jedi couldn't prevent the fall of Scar Gora. No, and many Jedi fell in that battle. But that was before the settled worlds took to the Rakatan threat seriously. Now, all the settled worlds have united with the Jedi. Force willing, we will defeat the enemy here. Bajavari, this is General Locke. Repeat, encountered main Rakatan army. Blunted their attack. All units converge on me. Now, acknowledge. Acknowledged. Master Tave, Quan Zheng, Madog, bring your units to Master Lok's position. We will determine the battle's outcome there. Acknowledged! Master Quan Zheng, summon your beasts! All units, attack! The Rakatan flagship of sub predor General Chilet, battle leader. Our attack was broken before it began, Predor Skarnas. Our supposed victims knew about it before we arrived and penned us in the accursed swamp. The Infinite Empire knows only victory, sub Predor Chetlet. Half our troops are dead and the attack is stalled. I defy you to get a victory with that. You defy me, little sub? Do you indeed? There are all kinds of victories, Chelet. In a war of attrition, we will ultimately win. Pull our tropes back to our main base on Skargora. Let the flesh raiders cover the withdrawal. You and I, we will talk more on your return. 
Chum, chum, chum. Boom! Chasm, take them. These creatures won't surrender. Flesh raiders are bred for the kill, Master Madog. They don't surrender. Kill them all. No mercy. No exceptions. With opponents on all sides, they fight on. With riders exhausted, their beasts recoiling from the heat and smoke of the swamps burning below, they fight on. The swamp is filled with the sickly, bitter stench of flesh raider blood and flesh. The four sabers burn the air around them. The darkness it takes to power these weapons overwhelms their senses. The balance is gone. Dagon Loke was born for this battle. The war is his destiny. He will have victory, whatever the sacrifice. There are some who will ask if our sacrifice here today was in vain. They will ask if Chicago was worth dying for. But if we have kept the stranglehold of the infinite empire at bay for a while longer, our sacrifice of lives for this great cause was justified. We are the victors. The force is with us and not our enemies. Rest. Recoup. Celebrate. We have done great things. We have won a mighty victory. May the force be with us. He's magnificent. He's terrifying. Lokes always loved glory, and now he bathes in it. He loves war. That's why he's good at it more so than any Jedi should be. What gives Sekno? What gives Seknos? Not enough glory in this war for you? This war is nothing like the wars our ancestors fought. I'm tired. I stink of flesh raider guts. Using the Force Saver makes it impossible to stay in balance. This war is darkness. I hate this. You wanted this. You don't have to love it, big guy. Just survive it. Come on, the hot springs will revive your body and I'll take your mind off that day. I know her, but I cannot remember from where. You couldn't know her. She's from here. You're not. Maybe she reminds you of someone from home. No, it's her. When I see her, I feel close to her. As though I owe her my life. Oh. You know, we all owe you a great debt. You showed us how to create and use the Force Sabers. We wouldn't have a chance against those Flesh Raiders without them. Or you. It is only right. You Jedi have given me your trust. Shown me a side of the Force I did not even know existed. It is I who owe you. Yeah, well, I think I'm going to scrape the swamp off me, grab some chow, get some sleep. Maybe in that order. I don't feel much like celebrating. See you. Skagora, Rakatan Base Prime. Why do we sit in this forsaken rock? You promised us a great prize. Where is it? What is it? What are you not telling us? I wonder, how can these inferior Jedi be so devious? They seem to anticipate our every attack. I think it screams of a traitor. Are you that traitor, Predor Skalnas? Are you issuing a challenge to my authority, Chillet? Do you still have authority? Check. 
I am no traitor, Chidlet. There are many in intricacies to this war of which you are not aware. However, since you have been told in been bold enough to ask, I will tell you the truth of why you have come to this Tython system. The essential truth is, we Rakata are losing our connection to the Force. Absurd! Impossible! Is it? Reach deep within yourself, Chedlet. You sense it. All Rakata sense it. We have become lax in our training, commanding slaves more than commanding the Force. Oh, yes, for now the Force is still strong in us, but a day is coming when it will not be so. Our legends tell of a world so rich in the Force that it will renew us when the Force fall fails. On the same world sits a legendary portal, an infinity gate created by the Qua. Through it, we Rakata once traveled, until the Qua closed it to us. I want to find that gate. Then, renewed, we Rakata will be the true masters of the galaxy, and I will be over Predor of the Infinite Empire. Now, do you understand? I do, my Predor. Your vision is magnificent. I assume you have shared this because you wish me to rule at your side, yes? Glorious Chetlet, you would mother a strong brood for me and devour the weak raw as they hatched. But... No. I just wanted you to understand the prize you were losing out on before you die. <laughs> you are not the first to challenge me, Chetlet. I have crushed all who opposed me, as I have crushed you, as I will crush these obstacles to my will, the Jedi. I will ravage Tython until she submits and yields up the Infinity Gate. I will have Tython, and she will renew my power. And then I will take whatever I desire. Thank you for tuning in. We invite you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to get notified about our next video. Until the Infernal Brotherhood convenes again, my fellow scruffy-looking nerf herders, may the Force be with you.